happen. You know what time it is? It's cabin time. Let's get going. I'll see you when we get there. Hey guys, I'm Tim Langston with Red Doll Bushcraft and today we're back at the cabin and I thought I would answer a question. How do I stay clean? How do I bathe? How do I shower? So we'll go over a few of those uh, options that we have here. I always like to have redundancies and I'll bring you along for a quick tour and you'll see that just because you're off grid doesn't mean that you have to be dirty. Let me eat this breakfast here and enjoy the sunrise out on the porch one of my favorite places and one of my favorite things to do and i'll get right with you so the way we stay clean and keep our hygiene up is it all starts with warm water warm water makes things a lot more comfortable and in the winter time whenever i'm running the wood stove i just put this big stainless steel kettle on the stove that gives me a half gallon of hot water and then that's what I use for my mix. If I'm not running the wood stove, then I just heat it up on the kitchen stove. Okay, once we've got some hot water and we know we can be comfortable, now, it talks, now we need to talk about where we're gonna take our shower. This is what I'm currently doing and what I have found to be the most effective and what seems to be what's going to work for us long term. Now here I have a county line that's a animal water trough and I cut a hole in the bottom of it and put in a sink drain and that's piped to underneath the cabin and then we reuse that water. But anyway, our bathtub is a water trough. Now you can use anything you want to from an actual water trough to a shower that goes into a house or one out of a camper or there's there's a many a different thing you can use but you have to have some kind of way of catching your water because this is a shower. We've been a, a, a shower rod and that's just conduit supported up here. I put a couple of hangers in. I have a cup for dipping water. I have my scrungie here that I use to, uh, to uh, scrub with. And then I like to use this Doc Bronner soap. It's supposed to be a lot better for the environment and all of that. And our water goes back on the ground so I don't want to contaminate anything. But the key to everything <laughs> is, a, is a bucket. So I have found it very comfortable that if I take a half gallon of boiling water, add it to a gallon of cold water, it gives me anywhere between 103 and 106 uh, degree bath water. And I find that very comfortable to take my bath. So... To distribute that water, I found this. Now, I, I've, I bought another pump off of Amazon. This is a little pump that goes down into the bucket and it has an on and off switch here. And here is a place where you charge it. And then it's a shower head. And it comes with a couple of different attachments where you can actually mount it, but I don't. What I do is if the water is too hot, I turn it on and just run the water back in the bucket and that cools it down pretty quick. And if the temperature is right, I just get in my shower 
and I take my scrunchie and wet it up real good and wet my upper body. And then I wet my scrunchie, I put some soap on it, and I start at my head and I start working down. You know how to take a shower. I soak completely up, and after I'm all soaked up, then I turn my shower on and I rinse off. And I always have water left because that little pump doesn't take it all out. I wind up with about a half a gallon left in the bucket. So I, I take a shower with a gallon of water, and it's a very comfortable, very clean shower. That's what I'm doing right now, and I don't really see changing anything uh, in the future. I tried all different types of DIY pumps. I ordered that one that didn't really work that well for me, that the, uh, the battery and uh, the on-off button is not down in the bucket. So I've tried a couple of different ones, and this one, uh, I think it's the name of that one is The Boss. And I bought that one at Bass Pro Shop, I'm, uh, and Cabela's, I think, so I'm, I'm sure they're available in many other places. But that worked really well. But before I got the pump, I tried all kinds of different garden sprayers that you pump up, and they work, but you just don't get a good shower flow. The iteration before this that I liked the best was this little... Uh, silicone shower head and this is made for when you're running your dogs to wash off their feet and clean them off before you put them back uh, to transport them home and I found that these larger water bottles I think this is a uh, one and a half liter if I just put nice warm water in this and screw this on and then put me some water in the bucket the same amount going through the same process as before it's just that this is now my shower that this sets down there, the other water helps keep it warm, maintain that warmth. It's all the same temperature. I use a cup and dip the water out of the bucket and wet myself down. I take a shower with the same soap and the same type scrunchie. And then when I'm done, I pour a couple of things of uh, water over my head and the major parts of my body. And I use this to reach all of those hard to reach spots that's hard to just pour water on. And this worked really well. And if I was hiking or tent camping, but I thought I might want a way of showering off for the size and the weight of this, and you usually carry a water bottle anyway, um, you're going to have some type of way, I hope, to heat water. Uh, this was a good method. Now, prior to finding any of these gadgets, uh, I did have one other method, and that's the way that we all know, which is a bird bath. And I've got a little collapsible tub here, but you could use any container. And you simply have two of them. That's the key to it. You have one that you put your soapy water in, and you just uh, take a bath with a rag and your soap. Get all soaked up, and you use the smaller container to uh, keep wetting that rag and wiping yourself down. And then you have a separate container for um, your fresh water. And I usually keep that a little bit warmer and then the very end of it, that winds up getting dumped over my head. But that serves our purposes as far as in the evening, uh, taking a shower. During the day, if I get dirty, I'll just put some water in a basin like that and clean up my arms or my face or use these. These are called ready bath, they're basics. Uh, they're what nurses, uh, home health care um, people use to give sponge baths and it's like a large thick baby wipe and it already has some, um, it's not really a soap but it's a cleaning agent in it and it doesn't leave you sticky and smelly and, and, and all of that and I, I like them. Uh, I think for if you're more of a truck camper or a hiker and you want something a little bit more than a, uh, a baby wipe but you don't want to be heating up water and all of that that'll get the job done for you so that pretty much covers hygiene how we take baths and showers uh, we have found uh, we were going to put a old-fashioned oval tub in here and I still might one day if I find one you know the four uh, four foot um, 
I can't remember what you call them right now, but it's the bathtub that sets up off the floor with the four feet. I always thought they were really cool and uh, a little four foot one would fit in here, I believe. But uh, we, we've kind of grown accustomed to this. The only problem with this is a bathtub is tapered so all the water runs to the drain. And this is not. The bottom is flat. So when I get ready to leave for the weekend, I have to take a towel and dry the bottom out. Other than that, um, the little homemade DIY project on the curtain rod, uh, I will recommend don't use just the plastic. Um, uh, shower screens get the better ones that are more uh, they're a nicer feel when you're inside and they're wet and you're rubbing up against them I, I wasted my money on buying the cheaper ones I wish I had just gotten the nicer ones right off the bat uh, a couple places to come out a couple landing mats so that you don't get your floor soaking wet and you're good to go so thanks for joining me for this one uh, I'm Tim Langston with Red Dog Bushcraft home of global safety and survival hope you enjoyed this trip to the cabin and our talk about the many different ways that you can stay clean, off-grid, not having to sacrifice anything at all. Until next time, God bless.